is to mind a bit of a callback to last week. Okay. When we were talking about um, the scarcity of the cards for Animal Crossing, and I think the night, not that night after, right after the show, but the next day, um, I caught wind of, hey, did you realize that the majority of the Amiibo bins are floating around out on the internet and you can buy blank NFC um, stickers oh, wait. and you can upload pretty much any Amiibo. Oh. Um, so the, w- the first thing on the list, because this is like two, two things you need in addition to um, the, uh, the Amiibo files, um, there are, and you can get different ones. These are the ones that came recommended to me, and I found out over the weekend that this is what my brother-in-law also purchased. Um, it is the, the, what is the name of those? The NFC stickers? Tagmo? Yeah, the Tagmo. Or no, I'm sorry. They're, they're actually NTAG 215s. Okay. Um, the Tagmo and Placebo are the iOS applications. Okay. Um, and what the, what this allows you to do, and there's a couple different kits that you can get. Um, they actually have a starter kit that has, um, stickers and coins. Um, so if you want to put your sticker in a coin, I've actually seen some interesting things on the interwebs where people are taking their 3d printer and they're making some kind of cool coin case for the actual coin thing and then they're actually selling it as like a amiibo ripoff which i thought was kind of funny um but these allow you to upload any nfc info to the tags um i've seen some the 215s and i think the 225s um but these these are it's just a starter kit runs you a whole you can spend anywhere between like seven and thirteen dollars. If you need fifty of these things, it's going to run you about eight, almost nineteen bucks. Wow! Um, so the, so the, the, it's a low it's a low bar to get into this uh, financially, a, at least. It's a low bar to get into it, but I have a feeling that Animal Crossing has sent the NF blank NFC tag world into a tailspin. Because much like those cards, there the scarcity of blank NFC tags is also on the rise. Oh no! Um, because a lot of people are doing this to the point where, if you look at the second thing on the list, which mm-hmm. complements the uh, N215 tags, <laughs> there is actually an app called, I'm guessing it's Ally, A L L Y. Um, collect and back up your amiibos. Feels like Ally, um, but. It could be wrong. It allows you to scan, back up, and restore um, amiibos, and you can also use it to write out. Because, of course, if you can back it up, you can share it. Exactly. Mm. So a good and idea, it's but it's it's interesting too. And I'm not going to give. I don't think I'm not I'm not a big proponent of piracy. Um, that I viewed this more as a learning exercise. Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> so I'm not going to give you where you go download all the other stuff. Um, obviously, no. you could clone someone's information. It was interesting, right. though, when I was looking through some online artifacts where people were backing. I've never used the Amiibo other than to unlock something special in a game. But I guess you can store like your character on there hmm. with like its stats. Hmm. For certain games, is this a web-based thing, or is it? It can't be uploading it into the NFC. It's taking the NFC and somewhere it's registering. This is what this means, right? Like, no, no, it's writing to the NFC. Oh, really? That, Those oh. tags are writable. They're oh, blank. Oh, see, I thought so. To me, I thought NFC was like I don't know. I guess I kind of imagined it like a QR code that here's the information, right? Mm-hmm. And it's and it was static. But you're telling me that it's actually a writable, like not a drive. Yeah, like a drive, I guess, sort of. A very yeah, but you, yeah, and you have to get special tags. Like I'm guessing the NFC in the 
amiibo or right protected or whatever like you're okay. not changing well, right i don't know no 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 because like i said i think in some ver in some games like smash brothers mm -hmm. you could upload your information into that and i thought the point of it was to kind of be able to take your character to another person's house like way back in the like in the nintendo wii days <laughs> um but people actually have published like their high-end high-powered characters so you if you know if you kind of know where to look you can also download those and then write them to an nfc tag and then you have like these super powerful characters in different games i'm i also wouldn't be surprised if someone has figured out like hey i can go in with a hex editor and change this number and it mm -hmm. quadruples my hit points or or attack power or whatever but i i just thought it was interesting that all this text out there and the other side of me is like hmm while different companies sell different NFC tags for putting around your house to, you know, you scan your phone on it and it turns on a light or it identifies you as you and then does something. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about the same thing from the NFC tag perspective. If I can write information to them and use, like put one on the back of my phone that has all of my data like my name, my phone number, all of that kind of stuff. And then I can use it kind of as a business card. We've seen those business cards that are NFC capable. Right. I'm wondering how you also do those types of formats. I mean, the applications for this are endless. So definitely check out the, the Alley for iOS. Not to, to be confused with Ally Bank. So if you if you search the App Store for A-L-L-Y, mm. um, the, you're going to get a bunch of bank information. <laughs> um, if you look for A L L Y N F C or A L L Y Amiibo, um, whatever, <clears throat> you can find the app pretty quick. It does come at a cost. I think it's like four dollars. Yes. So over um, on, it, uh, did you mention the website already over at uh, Ally dot Ninja? Ninja. <laughs> wait, yeah. wait, you can get a dot Ninja. Wait, I need, I'm going to get everything dot ninja. I don't care what it costs. Uh, no, it says one off purchase four ninety nine, and there's actually a link to the app uh, in the app store. So I um I I feel like Nintendo is probably catching wind of this. I I cannot I mean litigious as they are, um I imagine sooner or later there's going to be some kind of question mark on something like this. So but we'll see we'll see and and hopefully well, uh, yeah, get it while you can <laughs> if you're going to do it. It seems like with some of these, you kind of need like a. I, I could see them getting rid of the ones that are f for going after the amiibos, but I think there will always be an underground way to do this, just based on some of the things I've been yeah. reading. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you're actually going to be able to eradicate it, but you can definitely kind of try to prevent and go after some of this. Absolutely. Hey, I don't know if you guys saw Amanda's uh, comment in the chat, but. Uh... She said there's a Pittsburgh restaurant using NFC tags, so you can view the menu. Nice. I've seen I've seen a, a lot a with QR codes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen a lot of QR codes too. But that's cool. I'd like to see how they implement that. I'd love to I'd love to do an exploration on that. Maybe we can, you know, it'd be cool. You um, you know, I've seen I've seen like QR codes. Well, I see I, when we get stuff from LensRentals.com. Uh, there's usually a little like a little QR code on there, and I'm sure that's how they track inventory when it comes in and out right and pieces and everything like that everything we're like down to the like the sd cards have them like i'd be curious if uh, nfc would be something to do something similar with again uh, equipment tracking things like that uh for something like here or our uh, friends that work hard that deal with equipment um um renting and borrowing all the time like it feels like a you know a pretty applicable case so hey i want to get um 